Tell us uh, what your boyfriend, girlfriend did, and we have to guess. Did you take them back, or did you break up? We have one from uh, the TalkBack feature. While listening on the iHeartRadio app, you can send us a message by tapping that little microphone. And here's an example. I came home to find water bottles filled with urine on the desk because somebody could not take the time to get up from playing a video game to go use the bathroom. This is the Woody and Jim Show podcast, over 1,000 episodes strong. A daily recap of everything you missed. All right, tell us something that your uh, girlfriend or boyfriend did, and then we guess, did you take them back or did you break up with them? Uh, Nicole, tell us what your boyfriend did. Okay, my boyfriend gets up before work Mm -hmm. uh, and makes the bed with me still in it. Mm. Like while you're sleeping. (laughs) Like I'm asleep and the sheet is like like diagonal across my body, like a little bit on my cheek and jaw because he's tucked it into the upper corner of (laughs) his side of the bed. So he kind of seals you in like a like a pop tart. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Wow. Does he have like a line down the bed? This sounds like those arguments I used to have with brothers and sisters were like, You stay in your side of the car when we were in the back seat. Kind of, yeah. So he makes his side of the line of demarcation. Yep. Okay. Do do you make your bed, your side of the bed, after you get up? Well, I also have to remake his side of the bed because just extracting yourself from the bed means that it gets messed up. True. Yeah. So that makes you do everything. Uh huh. Hmm. Okay. So now we're going to have to decide whether you broke up (laughs) after that or you. Stayed together. Was that a deal breaker, or did you mm. take him back after his bed thing? Go around the room. Zach. I'm going to say no, because I do the same thing. I get up before my boyfriend. You would. And I make my side of the bed so that when he gets up, he only has to make his side of the bed. So, I, like, I put all my pillows back up. I, like, pull him up my side of the sheet and comforter. Well, and I make a, my side of the bed. You're you're disturbed. Yeah, and, like, uh, like Nicole's boyfriend, you're just psychotic. Zach. No, I'm so, trying to be helpful and so, make my side of the bed. So what do you think? Did not did Nicole break up with her boyfriend because I'm going to say no because okay, I feel like it's right. a normal thing. Okay. Mm. Definitely not a normal thing. <laughs> I have to admit I am not in favor of making the bed whatsoever. <laughs> so what do you think Nicole did? I, I like to leave it open in case I want to get back in. Um, I'm going to say that you took him back because this is just a mild discretion. You know, maybe uh, maybe, you, maybe you gave him a talking to. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking you're saying, like, oh, you got to stop that. So but I, so I'm saying you're, uh, we stayed together after that. Ricky? You know, I don't know how long you guys were dating. I feel like that makes this different if you were together for a long period of time or not. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm going to say that's enough to break up with someone. It's a little annoying. <laughs> <laughs> little annoying. So, this petty little reason, did you take him back or did you break up? Oh, I broke up with him. <laughs> <laughs> Over the comforter? When it happens every day, that builds up. Yeah, it's annoying. Okay. Was that like the only thing or was it kind of the straw that broke the camera? Yeah, back? there had to be more to it than just that. No, literally. This that was, was, it was just that. <laughs> just that. Well, okay. okay. Oh, yeah. Every day with irrational anger. Thank you, Nicole. We admire your pettiness. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kelly's in Sparta. Hey, Kelly. Hey, how are you guys doing? Pretty good. So, what'd your boyfriend do? <laughs> um, so, when we met, um, I was I was telling him, I am not the most grammatically correct person on the planet, but I was an English minor, so... There are certain rules and things that I follow or things that break my nerves. Okay. And when I met him, uh, he's from another part of the South, and there was a lot of, I had done seen, I seen it. <laughs> uh, the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the certain language that when I hear it, I'm like, no, stop, stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And um, I, uh, I, 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 I basically gave him an ultimatum. Uh huh. And I know that sounds terrible, but I was like, either you help me fix your grammar, you fix the way you talk, or we done. Mm. <laughs> okay, so and we're basically going to decide if he picked if he picked the yes. you letting him teach you, or if yes. you guys broke up. So if he he chose you yes. or talking like a hillbilly for the ooh, rest of his life. Ooh. Yes. Mm. Well, and it was only certain 
phrases. Okay. That just, you know, it's the, I, I, I think it. Yeah, it just I sends a chill down it. your spine. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm like, nails in a chalkboard sounds like angels with hearts. <laughs> <laughs> to <that>. I think <laughs> you know you you this really bothers you so I think you broke up what about okay. you guys what do you think Zach I'm gonna say on the ultimatum that he offered for you to try and help him but there was just no help he was a lost cause so then you <laughs> broke up yeah, I'm going to have to say you let him go after this. Like, you can take the man out of the country. You can't take the country out of the man. <laughs> this, is, this is a true story. Uh, so what happens if all three of you are wrong and we actually got married? Oh! Did you get married? Oh. <laughs> did, he fi- did he fix his language or did you just get over yeah. it? No, 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 no. He, he he understood what I was saying and I explained, you know, if you're going to be doing business in Cool Springs and Franklin and areas like that. Whether we like it or not, being from the country, your IQ is deducted immediately. Uh, people assume you're and, not too smart. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And so when he uh, understood that, he was like, you know what? You're right. And it was the beginning of a beautiful relationship. So it, he, he, you marriage. fixed him. What every woman thinks they can do, fix that I, guy. I, I, done, I done fixed him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> did, he, did he say that to you, Kelly? He says, hey, let's get married. Y'all too? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We basically proposed and, and finished in three syllables. <laughs> I was like, "Y'all too, I." <laughs> You're a delightful grammar Nazi, Kelly. Thank I you so much. Yeah. We have one from uh, the talkback feature. While listening on the iHeartRadio app, you can send us a message by tapping that little microphone. And here's an example: I came home to find water bottles filled with urine. <laughs> on the desk because somebody could not take the time to get up from playing a video game Mm -mm. to go use the bathroom. Wow. Did they stay with this person or did they break up? Uh, they I'm had just, to break up. I, yeah, you got to break up. Urine if you didn't, there's if you're an going issue. into a bedroom and it's filled with urine in bottles, I think that's uh, that's and they're where not you just, locked in that yeah. room and stuck in there. Yeah, like yeah. You, know. you turn around and go right back to the I door. I feel like it speaks about the maturity level of the other person that uh, they can't sure. get away from their video games enough to go do the bathroom. They've made some conscious choices there. And have you ever tried to pee in a water bottle? Oh yeah, it's, it's not easy. What? Well, it's not easy for you. <laughs> well, it's not easy for you. No. Uh, I mean, no, I mean, it's harder. <laughs> Obviously, it's almost, almost impossible for a lady, but, you know. It's still not easy. You got to aim. I say. <laughs> I think they stayed together. Oh, okay. my God. No. Really? no. I hope not. Um, yeah. I'm thinking Dunzo. Okay. I Let's see. See you. Bye. Good. Oh. Had to go. Thank oh, God, thank God, thank God, thank God. I got nervous. You guys want to know a funny story? No, yes. not if it involves pee bottles. It does. Jesus. When I was younger, at least I was younger, my okay. mom came home from work and got so mad at me because I had pee bottles in the living room because I couldn't get up from watching Maury. <laughs> From watching Maury. Zach. That was my show, bro. That's more pathetic than playing a video game for hours. You're disgusting. I mean, if you're playing Fortnite for 14 hours, but I, I turn Maury. the volume all the way up on the TV and walk to the bathroom. You're not missing anything. I didn't want to miss any like any any of the tea. I respect the video guy person more. More, yeah. At least I was younger, not a grown adult. Yeah, how much it younger? doesn't was make it, it better. Two years ago, <laughs> they had commercial breaks. You could go to the bathroom. <laughs> Uh, no, that's when you swapped over to Jerry Springer. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, my God. obviously, yeah. That's what There's you, so much wrong with this story. <laughs> yeah, as one does. There's so, so much, much to not unpack. <laughs> we don't oh, want to my know God. Trending. Here's what's trending this morning with Woody and Jim on 107.5 The River. Brought to you by Mark Spain Real Estate. By the way, if you want to see Subway Rat, you can follow Woody and Jim's show on uh, on Twitter, and there's a link to the video where mm-hmm. you see him crawling up the sleeping guy. <laughs> what would Zach, you do? Zach, what you got? Cool news that the uh, CEO of Disney, Bob Iger, has confirmed that Frozen 3 is in the works. Oh my goodness. Toy oh. Story 5 is in the works. Wow. And the sequel to Zootopia is also in the works. 
I actually really liked Zootopia. Zootopia was a very cute too. movie. It didn't Zootopia get a whole lot of adorable. press, but it was really cute. Uh, I still laugh. Yeah. <clears throat> Just thinking about the DMV. Oh, the sloths? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Um, also, scene. Tim Allen has confirmed that he's coming back as Buzz Lightyear for Toy Story 5. Okay. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be the same without him. No, it wouldn't. Yeah. yeah. So all three of those movies are in the works, um, according to the CEO of Disney. Hmm. Yeah. Ricky, what you got? So for the Super Bowl, the two states that are in it normally do a friendly wager, and we know uh. what the friendly wager is for this year's Super Bowl. If the Eagles lose, the Pennsylvania Chamber of Business and Industry has to give a gift basket of Yingling beer, Hershey's chocolate, Georgie mushrooms, and marshmallow peeps. If the Eagles win, the Missouri Chamber of Commerce and Industry has to give them Buzz- Budweiser Jack Stacks barbecue, Yum. burgers, smokehouse ham and sausages, and cherry mash candies. Okay, I guess those are like the things that are like local. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. And all I'm not gonna lie, the things that they're gonna give the Eagles sound much better. Yeah, much better. Yeah, way more appetizing. Missouri has better (laughs) options here. Yeah, Uh, yeah, they they both have beer, but it's still I like it. I would want it. I'm rooting. (laughs) There's a uh, veterinarian that uh, has revealed your dog's love language. So if you've ever wondered, does my dog truly love me? Uh, Here's some of the ways that dogs show that they love you using, you know, their language. So getting physical, like licking your face, climbing up onto your lap, jumping on you means they truly are in love with you and Sex excited face. to be with you. My golden retriever, Emily Margaret, loves me a lot then. She loves yeah. me a lot too. So in love with you. She so or any other love. human that walks in. Yeah. Knocks yeah. her right over with her love. Some people, they find it obnoxious that their dog barks at them when they walk in the house, but it's a, they're so excited to see you because yeah. they love you. Aww. And uh, one other thing was acts of service, which is bringing you like a stick from the yard or roadkill. <laughs> oh, that means George loves me. Oh, that's like when a cat will bring you a dead mouse yeah, and say, this sad. is for you. I got for this you. for you. <laughs> so, so kind. Uh, those are just some of the signs. If you want to see uh, more of the signs that a vet says that sh- just prove your dog loves you so much, mm. uh, you can uh, look, go to the Woody and Jim Show Instagram story. Thanks for tuning in. So, Zach, what are you going to do that's going to change the world? Um, it's kind of really cool. So I have an audition slash green test, like uh, camera test tomorrow for a show on Netflix. Really? Yeah. So apparently there's this girl in Nashville that started this bachelorette company that uh, they'll like go decorate and customize the houses for all of the bachelorette parties that are coming to Nashville. Right. right. Airbnbs. Right. Yeah. For the Airbnbs. And they like, they need a host for the show. And I had a meeting with them on Monday and they were like, yo, you would be perfect for the show because I've always said, hey, I want to be a professional travel companion. Yeah. We've mm-hmm. actually talked about this being your, your business. Right. Like a side hustle. Yeah. Where... I want to call it the token gay, where I'm the token <laughs> yeah. gay uh-huh. at the bachelorette parties. Like just a couple of weeks ago, I had family that flew in from Connecticut and everybody else on the plane was groups of bachelorette parties that each had one gay guy with them. Yeah. There's and always the token gay in the bachelorette party. Every That's... bachelorette party has to ass- be assigned one strong gay man. Right. Exactly. <laughs> that what, can tell them what to do. What better thing is to have somebody to meet you at the city who knows the city and is going to guarantee you're going to have a great time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You so would like, be that guy. They'd yeah, rent you. I would. They would rent me, basically, and I would basically be like their ambassador for Nashville on this new show that's coming. So right now they're pitching it to both Netflix and Hulu. Is it going to be like rentagay.com? I want it to be that. <laughs> <laughs> that's the business that should come out of this. Yeah. So... Wow! So, so, what's gonna, so they're pitching it right now. It's not actually happening just yet. Yes. Yeah, so they okay. They filmed the pilot and they're pitching it to uh, Netflix and Hulu. But I have like uh-huh. my screen test tomorrow okay, where I have to yay. go like oh. basically audition and go to like the house. Um, they have like a mock house set up. 
um, and like a fake bachelorette party that so I have to go. Everyone's got to send good vibes. Yeah. yeah. I just don't see anybody else nailing it like you no. can. No. Thank you. I literally feel like as soon as they told me about it, I was like, this is my dream. Perfect. Like, yeah. it's the perfect fit. So Maybe. when you become a huge star on Netflix, are you going to be too big for the likes of us? Never. Okay. He's lying. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> that's that's what they, okay. That's what they always say. Like when you win the lottery. Oh, I'm going to still work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here's the only downside I see. Uh, you know, for a good, I don't know, maybe we're on the air for five hours, but uh, we also hear Zach after the show is over for several more hours. Right. Right? Where Even we're if just, we're out of the building, we can still <laughs> we hear can him. still exactly. hear his voice. It's so loud. It's very loud. And now I have the chance that if I'm flipping through shows on Netflix and figuring out what to watch, and they auto-start the trailers for each show that you flip towards, uh, oh. Yeah. all of a sudden I'm going to be going like, okay, 1899. You can't escape. No. Ginny uh, and Georgia. And all of a sudden, Zach's voice is going to come <laughs> right. You can't get rid of it. Just I'm really trying to find the mute button. Zach's voice. It's going to be his obnoxious scream that he does when he gets excited. Is ah! scream. That's perfect what you're going to hear. Impersonation. <laughs> See, you're going to be perfect for this show. I right. honestly feel like it's like meant to be because I've been talking about this for a while, and then they kind of like came to me, and uh-huh. I was like. The fact that the world is just colliding and the ways that I we had like planned in the future, I'm like, it feels like it's meant to be. So we'll see. This is All a whole new business. Crossed. Thank you. Yeah, All a, appendages. Yes. A, All appendages are crossed. <laughs> <laughs> being a, a gay concierge, that's that's perfect for you. <laughs> right? <laughs> Woody and Jim in the morning on 107.5 The River. Sometimes the little comforts make you happy. Jennifer, what's making you happy? I got a new blanket and it's really soft and I'm living for it, to be totally frank. I love that. It's like a really bougie, expensive blanket and it's so nice. <laughs> Yo, honestly, I got so many blankets for Christmas from like my family and they're the best gifts. So ha- I'm here yes. for it. Yes. Happiness is a yes. warm blanket. Yes. yes. Yeah. And a very like soft, like luxe, like plush Yes. Oh, like yeah. Did you ever just throw yep. it in the dryer for a minute just to warm oh, it up? When warm it's it up, make it more luxurious. We have a heated towel rack. And just oh, oh, you, are so nice. you are so bougie. Oh, it yeah. sounds bougie. Uh, Your sounds bouginess bougie. is making us all happy. I'm, I'm moving in with you. <laughs> all right. A nice, luxurious blanket is what's making us happy this morning with Woody and Jim on 107.5 The River. The Grammys on Sunday. Yes, we're still talking about it because we finally have closure over Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck. Because the memes were everywhere of Ben Affleck oh, looking yeah. absolutely miserable. <laughs> he looked like he wanted to be show. anywhere but there. And they were yeah. like whispering back and forth. And I was like, Arr. yeah, everybody was like, "Yo, what's happening?" Um, so you know what award shows they typically hire like seat fillers so that whenever one of the celebrities or artists gets up to go on stage or backstage. They'll go sit in the seat Always to make the look crowd look full. So it looks like it's a full crowd, yeah. Yeah, so this girl on TikTok was apparently a seat filler for uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Like, okay. got to go sit in his seat whenever he got up. Her okay. butt sat in the same seat that his butt was in? Yeah. Oh. I bet it's right wow. behind so Beyonce. Warm. I'm so jealous. I know. Honestly. It's almost like they had the moon landing. You know, mm. that's, the, yeah. that's the term. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it was right behind Beyonce, <laughs> right next to J-Lo and Ben Affleck. So she posted a TikTok of what they were actually talking about in that moment that's going viral. Oh. So this is what she says happened. J-Lo showed Ben Affleck the phone and was like, oh my God, honey, look at this meme circulating about you. And he was like, oh God, this again. Like he knew during the performance that he was a meme. Like he knew and he also chose just not to change his expression. Like I love how unbothered that is. Um, but they were super lovey-dovey, like their hands were always intertwined. I don't like, I don't know how to describe it, but they just were. So it wasn't like, oh my God, this is gonna lead to divorce. Like they were cute. Also they left early and Ben like took the skirt of her dress and lifted it up too much. <laughs> and Jayla was like, honey. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently Jayla had her phone out, saw that the meme was going viral and showed it to Ben. And um, he didn't like it. That's and hilarious. he didn't like it. So uh, that's what, then he just decided, you know what? There's, It's already out there. I'm going to keep my same face. I'm going to keep I that face. It. Yeah. yeah. Change. So they were not fighting or arguing. He literally, she just showed him the photo on her phone and he was like, God, here we go again. 
So, I, <laughs> I do love the fact where he whispered something in her ear and she like was snapping at him and then turned around and saw she was on camera and started smiling. But it it's felt like, like she was yay. playfully yeah. Like, yeah. snapping. It, yeah. Everybody made it, it seem wasn't so like much worse real than anger. it was. Yeah. Like, it I don't think she was mad. Like, oh, get over yourself. Don't yeah. worry about it. You know what I mean? Like Probably. Couples do. Um, so yeah, if you want to see the TikTok, she talks about her entire night there of sitting in Dwayne The Rock Johnson's chair and like being so close to Beyonce and Ben Affleck, like all of it. Just go to our website. Um, it's 1075theriver.com and you can check it out right there. <laughs> hey there, Woody and Jim in the morning, 1075 The River, just a few days away from Valentine's Day. And we have something special planned for maybe the ex that did you dirty. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to let you poop on your ex. Yes. <laughs> all, all of Nashville. Nashville can and let poop other on people, strangers, can also poop on your ex. We're going to pick two people, but you have to submit so all of your stories at 1075theriver.com. Mm hmm. Yep. I'm going to read one of the crazy stories. We're in a lot of crazy We've stories. We've got a lot of a lot of drama. Yeah. yeah. Th- these are stories. And, and like, if if it's like the story that wins, uh, our friends at Dick's Last Resort are going to put up stalls in the men's and ladies' rooms yeah. that have your ex's first name on it. Right. That way you can go poop on your ex <laughs> and other people can too. Yeah. It's a real So here's thing. a little idea of what we're getting submitted. This okay. one's from Jermaine. Okay. Uh, it says that we were dating for a year and a half, living together for a year. Uh-huh. She was cheating on me, hmm. tried to play both of us, but I caught her in the act. Oh. She would call both of us separately and say that she wanted to work things out, but didn't oh. realize that we had each other's phone numbers. Oh, so they were, they were talking to each other. Yes, oh. and would call each other after she talked to us. Oh, God, compare notes. Turns out that she was with at least five other guys outside of the two of us. Wow. She would go on trips with all of us and say that she was on business. I caught her, and this is the crazy part, I caught her after I dropped her daughter off at church. She was supposed to be at a prayer session with her girlfriend, but she was praying on this other guy's beep. Oh, oh no! Oh, my gosh. Up. So many guys. Yeah, oh, real my. messed up. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. It's got some crazy stuff. That's a lot. Does I- this uh, woman work for the Laverne Police Department? <laughs> Cannot confirm or, or deny. Okay. Formally? All right. Maybe. Okay. Allegedly named Megan. Not I, sure. I just can't understand people who have like five. <laughs> how do you people. balance? I, I don't. How know. do you do that? I can't even. I don't have make the energy. One person happy. I, I can't let even alone keep a, five. I can't even keep my to do list together. <laughs> <laughs> and if, if how many people are on your to do list? <laughs> Apparently, she had at least wow seven. That's... Good for her. Look at her go. Wow. <laughs> But yeah, we're taking stories like that. Um, And if you tell us a story about your ex at the website, 1075theriver.com, we're going to have two people win, a boy and a girl. Name a bathroom stall after your ex. And so all of Nashville can go to Dick's Last Resort and quite literally poop on them. Plus, you'll also get a gift card to use at uh, Dick's Last Resort. Yeah. Too. Right. So, you know, you, you get free food and drink, and your I, ex gets first, pooped on. You get, do you get first dibs? I think you should get first dibs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And don't forget, big time rush tickets in about 15 minutes. It's time for men and women to answer questions for gender wars. All right, ready to go at the other like cats in a bag. We have for the ladies in the audience, uh, Heather in Nashville. Good morning, Heather. Good morning. Good Hello. morning. Wish you the best of luck. For the guys, we have <laughs> Kirk in Kingston Springs. Hello, Kirk. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Welcome. All right, let's start with Kirk this time. Uh, Kirk, what's the dorkiest thing about you? Like, ha, huh, like, where do I start? Um, <laughs> I think the dorkiest thing is that I like to listen to a history podcast. A history history podcast. podcast. All right. Well, that's, that's just, yeah. I know a lot of people that yeah. do. So uh, that's a popular dorky thing. Yeah. So if I ever need to phone a friend, I'm going to call Kirk. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. Uh, what about you, Heather? What's the dorkiest thing you'd say about you? Um, I know that everyone loves animals, and that's not dorky. However, I volunteered at the zoo back home in Philly, and a snake tried to bite me, so I quit. So <laughs> that's kind of the dorkiest thing because I take it to the extreme with my animals. <laughs> okay. okay. So what animal tried to bite you? A snake. A snake? Oh. Oh. Snake, yeah, I would run for my life too. I was done. Yeah, I was done. I was like, I have to go. <laughs> okay, you're pretty dedicated, right up to the old reptile. Okay, uh, let's get the game going. You each have a screw you can use in case you get in trouble. You can use your screw to make your opponent answer your question. All right, both of you start with a multiple choice question. Heather, uh, does the Lamborghini sports car logo feature a picture of a bear, 
a bull, or a dragon? Oh, gosh. Um, I should know this. Um, 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 uh, uh, what, what was the second one? Dragon or bear or what? Bull. A bull? Yes. Yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Look, I'm behaving. Good for you. Know, I'm proud very proud of you. Of you. Good for you, Heather. Uh, <laughs> she doesn't have a great history, so yeah, yeah. You, you have stuff on your permanent record, right. but you're doing great. <laughs> All right, Kirk, it's your turn. Is Voss a brand of shoes, bottled water, or shampoo? You said Voss with a Voss with a V. Yes, yes. Voss, v yeah. is in victory. Uh, go with uh, shampoo. Ah, uh, it's water. Mm, it's water. like fancy, fancy rich people water. Yeah. I know. Fancy bottle. <laughs> it looks like a shampoo bottle, though. It's uh, one to nothing. Heather is in the lead. Heather, John Overton High School's Mookie Betts is famous for what professional sport? Mookie Betts? Yes, Mookie Betts. What the hell is that? Baseball? Yeah. Baseball is right. <laughs> exactly right. Plays Very for the famous baseball player. He plays He's for the Dodgers. He's an awesome guy. As she says, what the heck is that? <laughs> Insanely famous human being. Okay. Yeah, so it's uh, Heather up two to nothing. Kirk, uh, the pressure's on you here. You have to get this one right to keep the game going. All right. Stormy, Stormy and Air are the children of what member of the Kardashian Jenner family? Um, Chloe? No. Kylie Jenner. Kylie. Yeah. Okay. And that means by a score of two to nothing, the game is determined. Yeah. Heather is the winner. Yeah, you get to go to Wine in the Winter where you can drink wine. Use it as snake bite medicine. Right? That's right. <laughs> trending. Here's what's trending this morning with Woody and Jim on 107.5 The River. Brought to you by Mark Spain Real Estate. If you occasionally suffer from constipation, there's a oh, new treatment. God. Okay. And it's not drugs. They've actually approved this. You have to get a prescription for it, uh, but it is a pill that just vibrates. Oh, you swallow right. it and it vibrates to loosen things up. I guess that actually makes a lot of sense. They say you go, you take it before you go to bed. It's called Vibrant, mm. and the FDA has approved it. And I guess it it uh, it vibrates for about two hours and then stops for six hours and then vibrates again for another two hours. That would feel so weird, like going down your digestive yeah. track. You think like. What's inside me? Some alien? Yeah. <laughs> take it before. I wouldn't be able to sleep. They no. said take it before bed. <laughs> I would imagine it's very gentle. It's got to be. Yeah, it couldn't be like. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky. So if you're worried about breaking up on Valentine's Day, don't worry because you can get love insurance. Nice. If you buy Toblerone. So Toblerone is giving love insurance to anybody who buys any of their Valentine's Day limited edition section of chocolates. I love and world. if you break up or something bad happens, uh-huh. you just send them in <laughs> the fact that you broke up and it's like a little certificate and then they will send you back a coupon to buy more chocolate. That's brilliant. <laughs> you need more chocolate after a disaster. Yes, I love it. It's a Let great idea. Let us fill the hole in your heart with chocolate. Genius marketing, honestly. <laughs> and I love Toblerone. They're delicious. They're very good. Jim? CBS is canceling the Late Late Show. So James Corden, who currently hosts it, he did announce a while back that he was going to be leaving the show to spend more time with his family. And it also coincided with the fact that everybody pretty much turned him in as being one of the biggest mm-hmm. jerks in show. Yeah, there's a toxic atmosphere. Uh, so they've decided they're not going to just do another Late Late Show and put another host in. Uh, they've got something in the works with uh, Comedy Central, their series At Midnight, which was hosted by Chris Hardwick. Oh, yeah, that was on for a while. Yeah. So they're going to be doing that. Not sure if Chris Hardwick is in the plans to host it, but, uh, yeah, that's going to be yeah. what will uh, follow on CBS. That was kind of cool. Yeah. Kind of a snarky game show. I fun. liked it. Yeah. Woody and Jim Show, 107.5 The River. So, Jim, why is Zach so very proud of you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, I know. Knowing He's... Zach, things something you did that he'd be proud of Kind of scares us all. <laughs> yeah, and, and with good reason. Okay. Okay. Cause, Usually uh, really petty. Zach yes. is strange, but uh, uh, yesterday I had a horrible, no good, bad day in the I'm afternoon. Sorry. Uh, I had a uh, planned appointment at the dentist to start the process of getting a crown. Oh. Okay, which is not fun, but like it's not that bad. At right? least it's really expensive. Yeah, at least I pay a lot. So uh, I go to my dentist. 
Dr. Mike, and uh, he's a great dentist. And uh, and as as they were kind of like uh, getting rid of the part of tooth, the tooth they were going to do, um, it, they stopped and they're like, "Oop, wait a second. There's a nerve right up at the surface. Oh. And he goes, this needs a root canal. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know, hey, this usually gets missed on the imaging. So, and I said, can we do that right now? Because no. I don't want. No, they, they got to send you to somebody else for that. Well, that's exactly yeah, right. Yeah, I went through that like about six months ago. Yes. And uh, so he actually called uh, an endodontist, who's the person that does right. root canals, uh, up the street and Mad props to Cumberland Endodontics and uh, Dr. Stephen DePaz and Layla, his assistant. They actually stayed about an hour and a half after they would have closed up and gone home just to take care of Oh, that's, that's nice. So that's nice. very sweet. Which was really nice. And they were so good. That's and cool. And I felt a lot better about it because I was, you know, and I had, my mouth was open for like five hours that afternoon mm -hmm. yesterday. So... Uh, I got to say thank you to them. But the reason Zach is very pleased with me mm -hmm. is there was a time when they were like kind of kind of renumbing my my mouth, right? And they have to let it sit for a little bit to kind of take effect. And at that point I pulled out my phone and I said to Zach, I'm like, "Oh, this is terrible. I was going for a crown and halfway through it I had to go to another place for a root canal. Is this the worst day of my life?" I said, "But the assistant that's working on me has a mask on, but I, I got to tell you, she has great eyebrows. <laughs> she has fantastic eyebrows. I was proud of him for acknowledging. For noticing the eyebrows? Yeah. It's like a small step yeah. into actually noticing Most things about people. Most straight men don't notice that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, I, and I really think this has to do with, you know, my having a wife and daughter that, like, you know, really, you know, help, help Care, me, yeah. train me. Yeah. Were they, yeah. were they waxed things. or, you know, th or what is it? No. Thre threaded? <laughs> they just seemed just, just naturally very just nice. very nice. And, uh, <laughs> I wasn't sure whether to say something, but I did. I, after I was done, I said, thank you for staying later. And I said, and Layla, I said, you have great eyebrows. <laughs> I said, I couldn't see anything else on your face because of the mask and everything. I said, but... Nice eyebrows. And she said, thank you so much. Oh, <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Jim. So, now, did you say that with all that stuff in your mouth? <laughs> it was a little, no, there wasn't stuff in my, I was numb, though. So there was a little bit of a, yeah, yeah. nice eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> a lovely compliment as you're drooling on the counter as you're paying your bills. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, Zach is proud of me because I paid attention. And right. I tried to give a, a compliment. Mm -hmm. or something that I noticed that I never usually notice. I was about to say, you would never <laughs> usually notice it, and you would also usually never say anything. Right. Mm. Yeah, I never wanted to come off as creepy, but I think they knew I was genuine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I right. wasn't some guy sneaking in there, pretending to need a root canal just, just to, to say watch your creepy. eyebrows. Mm. Yeah. That's what somebody who was so. pretending to get a root canal would say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oop. So, well, you know, make, make somebody's day today. You see something nice about them, tell them. Yeah. 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 It, It'll make their day. That's try to, what I'm trying to do more often. Yeah. Woody, I like your shirt today. Thank you. You're so welcome. It's colorful and a Hawaiian Zach, shirt. Do you know what the Chicago Cubs are? A baseball team. Yes. Oh my God, I'm so See? proud of you. See, there you go. <laughs> oh my God. It's compliment City. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, you recognize something that we didn't expect. See? <laughs> I love all you guys. And Zach, your hair is coming in really nice since your transplant. My God, I love this attitude of gratitude <laughs> right now. Zach's smiling. And Ricky was smart enough to ask Zach if he actually knew what he was complimenting. Yeah. And Ricky, you are a festival You are a festival in purple. Oh, you look so good. So yeah. And Jim, I like your eyebrows. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> there. Just Yes. Everybody feels good. Remember uh, Pizza Rat? That was a uh, mm -hmm. huge deal in New York where oh, yeah. a, a rat that was dragging away a piece of pizza and became a celebrity overnight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, I mean, we all kind of related to Pizza Rat. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, I, yeah, I like um, pizza. kind of looks yeah. like me as I'm yeah. like skulking away from yeah. the box of pizza. <laughs> you're, you're taking cold pizza out of the refrigerator at three in the morning. But there is a new celebrity rodent in New York City. Uh huh. And his name is Subway Rat. Now, New York City, subways especially, are crawling with rats. It, Yum. Usually in the tunnels, but not yeah. so often in the cars. Right. Mm, they're but, in the cars a lot. Ricky is saying otherwise. <laughs> Ricky, who spent a lot of time in New York City and interned there, went to school there. Yeah, I lived there. And, uh, you know, this uh, rat, uh, has, there's a video of, uh, of a guy who I think very, very mistakenly falls asleep on a subway. Mm -hmm. Not the best Thing. That's oh, pretty. People do it often. 
that's a like pretty common actual thing. Actual yeah. subway. I thought you were talking oh, you about subway, subway the, the restaurant. restaurant. <laughs> no. There might be rats there too. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. I was Who so knows? confused because we started with pizza, so I was thinking right. subway <laughs> the restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. He's actually in the uh, yeah. the transportation. Okay. The subway yeah. system yeah. makes way more sense. If, now. if subway the restaurant grabbed it, they would call it tuna and sell it. You're right. They probably would. Subway rat. So while the guy is asleep, Subway Rat, who is quite large. Yeah, big uh, old rat. Like the size yeah. of a fat squirrel. Oh, yeah. Uh, he decides to jump up onto the guy's boot, crawl up his leg, uh huh, crawl over his body. No. And then settles on his, the back of his neck when the sleeping man starts to stir like, oh, what, huh? and then he reaches behind him and feels the rat and like jumps up like, ah! And then the rat one does. runs away. Yeah. Uh, but the, the rat, uh, you know, had a good time at the old uh, jungle gym that was this guy sleeping in mm-hmm. the subway car. This the, happens so often. That is so Like disgusting. more than I would like to admit, but it yes. happens all the time because for one, I will say certain subway cars are so old that they rock back and forth a lot. Yes. So like and they don't want to touch lull anything. you to sleep though. Like if you're sure. sitting down, yeah. it's easy to fall asleep, especially if you're working long nights and you're on the subway on your way mm-hmm. home or something like that. Yeah. So people fall asleep on the subway all the time and these rats do tend to get in the carts and they'll like crawl up your leg. Yeah, it's really I mean, really that rat just really wanted gross. to cuddle. He was sleeping on his shoulder. Well, it's, yeah. it's winter time. The guy's body was probably warm. He thought, oh, this would be a nice take, place to take a nap. Yeah, for sure. Mm. But, ugh. like, I just would, I would die. I just got goosebumps all over my yeah. body. Mm. I really don't know whether I would just wash the clothes or just, like, burn Throw them, them out. in acid. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's bad because those rats are something else. Let me tell you, they're a different kind of breed. Those rats in the yeah, New, York, in New they, York City they, subway system. Oh, they have no fear. No fear. No fear yeah, whatsoever. Yeah. They'll, they've even crawled up. I've seen videos of them crawling up legs of people who are awake standing yeah. on the subway. Uh huh. Oh my God! They're yeah. like the honey badgers of New York City. Yeah. There's a whole Instagram account called Subway Creatures, and mm-hmm. it's literally about this. <laughs> It's Luckily, bad. we don't have to worry about that here yet, since because uh, you know, we have no mass transportation. <laughs> right, and all all the rats are in the state legislature. So, oh. <laughs> thank you. Good night, Burn. Woody and Jim in the morning, 107.5 The River. Okay, early morning. Take you behind the scenes here at 107.5 The River. I'm usually the first one here in the morning because, uh, you know, I like to get things done. And if there's nobody here in the building, you can actually get things done. Right. You're not being distracted by everything. And uh, the managers of the building, who I will lovely, lovingly refer to as morons, uh, <laughs> they, they installed wireless smoke detectors yeah. in the hallways. I guess they put them up yesterday. Oh. Okay. And they're, they're little bitty. They're about the size of a, uh, a baseball, and they're up in the ceiling. So this is uh, in it's case all there's wireless. a fire. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I come in this morning at my regular time. I walk in, you know, go through the key card and everything, come in here to the second floor, and they're going off. Oh, no. So I said, oh, no. And so I'm going like, where? And it's like you have to go through the house, you know, like when your smoke detector needs a new battery and it beeps. I just went through you, that. And you got to run yep. through the house trying to figure out which one it is. Yep. So I finally figured out which one it was. And it was up, and I'm a short king, so I wasn't able to reach it. So I, I got a baseball bat out of the office. Did you beat it with no, a baseball bat? I just tapped it, and it was oh. it was it was on double sided tape on the ceiling. So I just it popped down on the ground. It's still I, it's still I going you off. Beat it to death. It, it's it, still going off. It, it was still going off. Where did you put it? So I, I I reset the little thing on it, touched it on the side, and say, okay, it's done. And I put it up uh, like on a counter, and I figure, okay, that was not going to bother me anymore. And then about 20 minutes later, it started beeping again. So I, <laughs> I'm, I'm running down here with the baseball bat. Then I had a moment of clarity. I said, no, I don't want to destroy this. I don't want to start. Violence is not the answer. Okay. So I just unscrewed and took the battery out. And it's laying over there. So if there is a fire, you know. Okay. We'll never know. Just All tell right. somebody. I'm just, I don't, I don't want to scare you. <laughs> I don't want to scare you, Woody. Send him a quick text. I don't want to scare you, but uh, I have a personal experience from just a couple of days ago yes. that may tell you that this horror movie is not over. Okay. Okay. So if you guys remember about a month ago, I had a thing where all my smoke detectors were beeping. Uh-huh. That not not the alarm, but the one that says, you know, like, hey, you know, the batteries have yeah, run out. Yeah, every 10 seconds or so just goes beep. Right. And they're all over my house. I have an open floor plan, so I don't yeah. know where the sound is oh, coming yeah. from. Oh, yeah, it's echoing. And I just went insane. Every time I thought I would you know, have the problem fixed, I'd hear another beep somewhere else. So I ordered 
the smoke detectors that have a 10-year battery. Wow. So Impressive. That you don't have to deal. I was so mad. Mm-hmm. So mad. So, so mad that Jim actually spent money. Exactly. Right. <laughs> That's how mad. So uh, I got most of them, but there was uh, some on back order. Okay. Uh-huh. So just like two days ago, I got the final two. Okay. Right. And put those up. Got up on the ladder, took the old ones out, put yeah. the new ones in. And then as I'm walking to the garbage can outside, this smoke detector that was up on the ceiling which has no battery anymore, I ripped the batteries out, is still beeping. So you're saying there might be life after death. Yes. It's and, become self-aware. And, and, yeah. and as I lifted the <laughs> lid to the garbage can, I threw it in there, and it hit the bottom of the garbage can, and it just went... Oh, that is slow, it, painful death. It's, it's last <laughs> death rattle. It's like I threw it into a volcano. <laughs> Thanks for listening to and recommending the Woody and Jim Show podcast. Listen to Woody and Jim in real time every weekday morning on 107.5 The River, Nashville, or live on the iHeartRadio app.